guys, what's up? It's Eli Knight with Knight Jiu Jitsu and uh, I'm gonna talk about kind of a self-defense measure today that I had some questions about and it was about uh, getting up from the ground, uh, ground versus standing opponent and using kicking to get up because I think there's some misconceptions about it. I think there's some good ways to do it, some helpful ways to do it and there's some uh, not good ways to do it too. Let's say that I've been grounded somehow, maybe I tripped, I fell, maybe it was a ground entanglement, he got to standing before I did. Whatever's the case, I need to get back to my feet and not stay on the ground versus a standing guy. So um, I think that some of the common misconceptions about this might be that like if, if I'm here on my back and I can just like stomp here and it's gonna fold his knee in half, he's gonna drop down to the ground, start crying, I'm gonna be victorious and get up and get away. And that might happen, but that's not what we need to prepare for because that's a very unlikely uh, thing that would happen here. So I do wanna uh, kind of take this, this measure though here. If I need to think first, if I start to try to get right back up into the fray, I'm going right back into his workable space here and he's gonna have all his weapons available at me. So from here, if I wanna try to get back to standing, first thing is I need to have my feet facing him. I want him to see the bottom of my feet. If he sees the top of my feet, that means my legs are in kind of in a weak position to be able to kick or anything else like that and he can get around me easier. So I need to have my feet up here like this if he's trying to move one side or the other, I need to be able to move in a strong way to target him and keep this barrier be between us here until I can create the appropriate space to be able to get back to my feet. Now, uh, to be able to use kicks to create some of that space, I wanna think about my foot turning sideways. If I keep my foot vertical in line with his leg, it's more likely I'm gonna slip off and not have much damage that way. So I'm gonna keep it more perpendicular here whenever I'm targeting the knees. And if he's got one leg presented more forward like this, then I'll probably target both toward the front leg here. And I wanna work it like a piston here. I don't want to overextend, drop my leg, and then give him a clear route to get on top of me, right? So I keep here, and then I may probably use both feet here to target that front leg. If he's more square, maybe I'll target both legs here like this. But whatever is the case, once I'm only counting on this to try to make me some space, not how much damage it's gonna do. If it's a damage, that's just a bonus. But once I uh, do that here, then I'm gonna try to get to this next position here, which is seated. And I'm not trying to get uh, all this in one step necessarily, because at this point, if he rushes me again, I may have to go back, right? Um, also don't wanna necessarily think about kicking him in the head, just because if, if I overcommit to that here, it's the same idea. So if he's leaning over and he comes right at you, that's great, and I can do that, but that's not my primary target. My primary target is the closest damaging point that he presents to me here like this. So again, once I've created a little bit of space here, I'm retracting, retracting, retracting back in the space to create a gap between us. At this seated position here, the top leg here doesn't do a whole lot, right? It's not quite as strong, even if I lift up to do it. The bottom leg is gonna be a lot more powerful to do that because I have this swinging kind of pendulum motion that's gonna put a lot of power of the hip into the kick here. So I go here and I try to make as much damage and much power behind that as I can. Then I use the recoil off of that kick to get myself back to standing. And if you notice, this hand here is either blocking here or covering to block here like this. So if I eat any shots on the way up, hopefully it just hits my arm, it hits that barrier and it doesn't hit me in the face. So I go here, I kick here, and then big step back. So whenever I get up, I have a large reactionary gap like this and then I'm back in the fight or maybe I can get back out of the situation. So. These are kind of some considerations I would say on kicking to stand back up. Again, I don't want to necessarily think of that there's any guarantee behind how much damage I'm going to be able to do to his legs or his face or whatever or his groin, wherever I decide to kick. Um, I do want to think though that that is going to create some space for me and I want to use those kicks as efficiently as possible to get myself back up to standing so that I have a better chance in this fight. So that's my take on how to kick to get back to standing and if you have any other questions about it, leave them in the comments. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.